Hi everyone, Vincenzo here with a new ukulele tutorial. Today you have the first episode of At Uke Rocks, a series of tutorials on some of the best rock riffs of all time. So if like me, you want to rock out on the ukulele, you can't miss this one. In this video, you will learn how to play one of the most iconic rock riffs ever written, Satisfaction by Rolling Stones. So let's start, but before doing that, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel. I don't like to say these things, but it would really help me if you did, and it doesn't cost you anything. You play this riff with double stops, which means playing two notes at the same time. And you start with two and four, and this is repeated twice, like this. Notice how I lift up my fingers before playing it for the second time, like this. By doing that, you get a puncher sound. You don't have to do it, but I would say give it a go. By the way, for the right hand, I'm using the index for the second string and the middle finger for the first string. However, if you prefer, you can just use the thumb and it will be totally fine. You carry on and you have again two and four, then four and five and five and five and you finish the first measure of this riff. Let's put it together, three, four. And again, three, four. Okay, let's work on the next measure. You have five and five twice, then four and five twice, and then both the E and the A string open. All together, one and two. One more time, one and two. Basically, that's it. Let's put the two measures together now. Very slowly. Three, four. And again. Now, let me show you a way to simplify it. One thing that you can do is play the riff without double stops. So you're just gonna play the notes from the A string, like this, three, four. This way will suit beginners more. So if you are a beginner, what you can do is learn this first and then work on the version with the double stops. All right, almost done. But before the play along, I wanna show you how I play it. Three, four. That's it. Basically, I was strumming all the strings of the ukulele, but the third and the fourth string were muted, you see? This technique is called left hand muting and it makes the riff sound more groovy. If you want to learn more about it, in the description you can find a tutorial on it. By the way, the symbol that looks like an M means downstroke and the one that looks like a V upstroke. One thing to pay attention to if you decide to play the riff with left hand muting is that I added two extra strums. You don't have to add them, but I think they sound cool and they also help you keep the rhythm. So you have extra strum, then the usual riff, and then for the second part, you start with the extra strum and you carry on with the rest. Let's play it one more time. Slowly, three, four. There you go. It's time for a play along. I will repeat the riff four times. For the first two, I will play the riff in the main way I taught it to you. And for the second two, I will use left hand muting. The tempo will be 130 BPM. This is quite fast, so of course practice at a slower tempo before trying out the play along. Having said that, get ready, you're about to start playing. The aim of 
this tutorial was to teach you a simple and straightforward arrangement of the riff from Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. Learn it, post your video on social media and tag me. I will reshare your video and I will give you personalized feedback. On my Patreon page, you can find the tabs and the backing tracks that you need to practice this riff. You have three backing tracks, one at the original tempo, one slower and another one even slower. And one more thing, don't forget that if you learned something from this video and you would like to say thank you, you can buy me a coffee, link in the description. That's all for now, let me know in the comments if you manage to learn this riff. If you want to take your playing to the next level, have a look at my free course here on YouTube and download my free 8-step roadmap, link in the description, that will tell you the exact process to follow to learn the ukulele. Moreover, check out the other links in the description to learn more about the types of classes that are available at the moment. If you're into rock music, subscribe to my channel and follow the hashtag at UKRocks on Instagram. To learn another riff, have a look at my tutorial for Enter Sandman by Metallica. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ciao!